hearts. The object of the game is to lose all your hearts, a concept that Lucas seems to have trouble with. Two hearts. Zero. Three hearts. One. Lucas? Oh, seven hearts plus 13 for getting stuck with the old me. Ooh, 20 points. Now, you uh, understand the object of this game is not to collect the hearts, right, Lucas? Yes, I understand. Deal. OK, so what are we playing for this time? Lucas is already cleaning my room this week. Double or nothing? Are you sure, Lucas? Bring it on. I have to win sooner or later. 21. 17. 22. Maybe we should quit? Okay, let's see what the damage is. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Hey, a new record. Lucas, you lost 15 hands in a row. Well, that's not that bad. I mean, could have been worse. Maybe we should just stop playing hearts at lunch. Oh, no. One day, I'm going to be on a hot streak, and then you guys are going to owe me. Oh, OK, Lucas. Let's go. are not going to know what hit them. A few modifications to the optics of these glasses and a new deck of cards ought to change my luck. Four of clubs. through the card. Now we'll see who should stop playing hearts at lunch. <laughs> okay, so my mom drops me at this boarding school, and I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students. Teachers, principals, you know, like normal schools, but it's not. Weird stuff happens here, really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Is his floating sphere the key to the mystery? Something's going on and someone's behind it. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There is nothing wrong with a Blake Holsey High. I spy with my little eye everything. Light enters through the outer layer which contains the cornea. Then it passes to the back of a pigmented chamber which leads to a disc-like structure called the iris. Now, who can tell me what is significant about pigmentation in the eye? Mr. Kubiak, if you could open your eyes, perhaps you could inform the class what you know about pigmentation in the iris. <clears throat> Pigment, is the answer bacon? No, Stuart, <laughs> the answer is not bacon. Josie. Pigmentation gives the eye its color. Correct. When you say someone has blue eyes, they, in fact, have a blue-colored iris. Now, the iris isn't all window dressing. It actually controls the amount of light entering the eye by altering the diameter of the pupil. Now, if you were to wear dark wraparound sunglasses outside on a sunny day, then your pupils would dilate. Now, if you were to remove your sunglasses, then your pupils would contract rapidly. Uh, what about when there's no light? Well, using 
technology, we can enhance our night vision artificially, but we can also enhance our vision in more everyday ways. Eyeglasses with prescription lenses can aid the eye in seeing things either far away or close up. They bring the world into focus. Nasty. <laughs> Practice starts at 3.30. Maybe you'll be shining those yourself. Lucas, a bet's a bet. You lost and the deal was unlimited shoe shines for a week. What's up, guys? Lucas has seemed to have forgotten our bet. I remember what the bet was. I'm feeling lucky and I don't see me shining your shoes once we're done playing hearts at lunch. We'll see you in the lunchroom. Don't forget your shoe polish. We'll see who's shining shoes. I can believe I'm saying this, but have you ever thought about being a gracious loser for a change, Lucas? What's with the glasses? N new prescription. It's a little better for up close. Good. I'm expecting a mirror shine on my cleats. How about we play double or nothing? Again? Are you sure, Lucas? Maybe we shouldn't. I was asking. Fun. Two weeks unlimited? <laughs> Deal. Thirteen. Zero. I win. Twelve. Fourteen. Zero. Twenty-two. Zero. 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 Guess who's shining shoes now? You won every hand. That was amazing. Maybe I'll tell you my secret when you're cleaning my room for the next two weeks? I share that room, and I can tell you, Josie, that is going to be one gross job. Certainly not as bad as carrying my books to every class. Right, Corinne? Just remember how this feels, Lucas, because sooner or later, everyone's luck turns. Ooh. Are you sick? No. Just the rush of winning. Sure, you look like you saw a ghost or something. Or something. You know, maybe you should get your new prescription checked. I, I heard about uh, this friend of a friend of my brother's who uh, his eyes hurt and he didn't check, and uh, the next day he went blind. <laughs> Just like that. Maybe it was like a couple of days. Or was it a week? And, and my brother's friend didn't actually like see it happen, but Listen, you I'll get the... talk to you later, okay? Yeah, sure. Uh, Good game today. Take a look at that later. Illuminate on it. You understand, Bond? This has to change. Things have to improve. I make myself clear. Yes, Dad. Bye. If I can see that envelope, I wonder what I can see in your office, Victor. You here to gloat? No, I. Just wanted to... Just wanted to what? Sorry, I'm thinking of asking for one just like it for my birthday. Listen, I, I have to study in... Vaughn, now that you've moved back home, 
How about I uh, come over tonight and help you study for the calculus midterm tomorrow? Calculus? I, uh, heard you didn't exactly ace your last one. You want to help me? Listen, I know we've been on each other for a while now, but there's no reason we can't try and get along better and help each other out, right? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I could use the help. Great. Whoa! Watch where you're going. Right. See you tonight. Lucas! Maybe, uh, maybe you should stay in tonight. No, nope. I'm fine. You're not fine, Lucas. You're going blind. Who's there? Josie, are you feeling all right? Vaughn told me you were acting kind of weird. Don't worry about me. Vaughn's the one who's gonna be feeling the pain tonight. <laughs> what are you talking about? He thinks I'm going over to his place to study. I'm gonna prove to you once and for all that Vaughn stole the chi ball from you and returned it to his dad. Lucas. Did it ever occur to you that I might be right? If I find it, that should be all the proof you need. Enough! How many times do I have to tell you that Vaughn didn't have anything to do with the chi ball being stolen from my room that night? And he's not spying for his dad. I know you think I'm jealous of him and you, but I'm not. Jealous. Okay. So are we cool? Yeah. But I'm still going over there to check things out. I'm not talking about this with you anymore, Lucas. Why? Are you afraid of what I might find out? No! I have to clean your room, remember? Forget about it. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. A deal is a deal, and you won. Fair and square. Ah. <sighs> I knew it. What? What? You, you just said I knew it. What do you know? What are you staring at? That painting, I knew it was an oil painting. So? I love art. Mind if I take a look? Well, uh... Or, uh, you supposed to stand that close? It's a, uh... Yugoslavian New Wave art thing. Up close in ism. No chivo. Must be somewhere else. What are you doing? <laughs> Whoa, Lucas, it's okay. Just chill. <gasps> I gotta say, acting strange. Even for you. Yeah, it's, it's just a headache. Can you get me a glass of water? And a painkiller? I'm getting a migraine. Yeah. It has to be here. There's something inside. Looks like something round. Phone. No, and... Ah! 
Ow! Let her open. Ow! Okay. Come on, pick up. Hello? It's Lucas. I'm busy cleaning, Lucas. Why are you calling? Because I found something. I'm trapped in Victor's office. I need your help. <laughs> what do you mean, trapped? Just leave. I can't. I'm... I'm blind. He's coming back. I, I gotta go. <sighs> What are you looking for, Lucas? You didn't come back to study, did you? So is that what you're doing here? Searching my father's office? No. Lucas! Josie. You made it. Sorry, Vanna, I let myself in. Josie? Are you a part of this? Part of what? Lucas called me, he said if that he... If she was finished cleaning my room, then I have to go and inspect it. So, uh, let's go. Now. Later, Lucas. Vaughn, I... Whatever, Josie. I've never encountered lenses like these before. The enhanced optics are astounding. Lucas, where did you get these? I, uh, treated the lenses and marked the deck so I could see everyone's cards. So that's how you won all those games. How could you do this to us? I got so mad about losing, but instead of walking away from the game, I kept playing. I should have learned to lose more graciously like you said I should, or stop before things got so out of hand. Instead, I cheated and lied to my friends. I let wanting to prove Vaughn was a bad guy put another friend of mine in a bad position. Let's talk about this later, okay? Lucas? I'm looking at your eyes right now. You seem fine, but from what you described, the stress must have triggered a migraine. You mean the headache is the cause of the blindness? He isn't actually blind, but he may be in so much pain from the migraine that seeing is unbearable. My guess is that we'll have to block out all visual stimuli and leave Lucas in the dark for a while. This is a blackout bag. Photographers use it to load and unload film so the light won't ruin it. Now. We can't restore sight, but hopefully the blindfold will give Lucas's eyes a chance to reset. Lucas, are you ready? Yes. I'm removing the blackout bag. How is it? It's still a bit blurry. Here, try these. <laughs> I can see you guys. Just us, or can you still see through walls? Just you guys. Just my friends. At least I uh, hope we're still friends. Don't think we're gonna erase all those bets you lost. But you don't have to make good on them until you're up to it. I'll make it up to you guys, I promise. Until then, let's call it a night. Whew. About the chi ball, you didn't see it, did you? I wish I could tell you I was sure I saw it, but I'm not sure of anything I saw. So, Vaughn could be telling the truth? I don't know. I think there's a lot in Vaughn's life we'll never know about.
What is it, son? Nothing. Just thinking. I can tell by your expression it's not about your schoolwork. People treat me differently because I'm your son. Of course. You're a Pearson. There are people who fear that name. And even more who are jealous of it. Is this what the rest of my life is going to be like? Not knowing who I can trust? No. Your destiny's still being written. As is mine. Until we're called upon to fulfill it. I need you to be ready. I will be that. I promise.